Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Git and usage of their commands to start using Git in any project. We're going to go really fast, so be ready for that. Before we start, if you're new, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's start. So, what is Git? Git is a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development. Here is how it looks like to track changes with and without using Git. If you try to track changes in one file after 10 changes, you're gonna end up with 10 versions of a file using traditional approach. However, if you're using Git, then you only have to worry about a single file and Git will track the changes for you. This is just an example for one file, but we all know that a real project contains hundreds of such files. But why do we say it is distributed. Using Git, each developer has a local copy with full history and changes and a copy of code can be kept on server which is where services like GitHub and Bitbucket comes into picture. So anytime you make a change in your code and want to share it with other developers, you just have to push your changes onto these services and other developers can pull these changes from there. Okay, enough of the theory. Let's see how we can use git in our project first thing you need to do is visit git-scf.com downloads and download this software and install it on your system once installation is done open your terminal and type git config dash dash global user dot name within quotes your name and then type git config dash dash global user dot email and then your email your name and email are displayed with every commit you make like this so let's start from scratch i have an empty folder here so let's create a new file and write some code in it and save it as file one the first thing you need to do when you start using git in your project is to initialize git using command git init inside your project directory if you already have repository online then copy the repository url like this and then you can clone the repository using this command git clone your repository url now add all the files to git using command git add minus a you can check the changes which are to be committed using command git status changes in files which are shown in green will be part of the commit that you will make to commit your changes type git commit dash m within quotes your message for that commit this will create a new commit if you check the status now then you will see there aren't any changes done after your commit you can check your commits history using command git log Each commit has a unique hash and you can see the author who made this commit and commit message here. Let's make some changes in our file. Check get status and you will see unstaged changes in red. To add these changes in a new commit, type git add dash a. Check the status again and you will see changes staged for commit in green. Only changes shown in green will be added to a commit when you commit them. To commit these changes, type git commit dash m within quotes your message for that commit. You can check the status again and there is nothing else left to commit. Type git log and you can see the commits history. Now, make another change in this file and create a new file. Let's save it as file2. Type git status and you will see untracked files and unstaged changes in red. Now you can again type git add minus a to add files for a new commit. But what if you just want to add 
changes in file path. Then you can type get add file one path. And if you check the status, then it will only show you file one in gray. Now you can make a commit if you want, just like we did before. But what if you change your mind and want to add file two as well in your new comment? No problem. Type get add dash a and it will add all the files. Check the status and all files in green and ready to be committed. Commit these files like we did before and we can see three commits in log now. Now let's say you want to check the code of your project for a specific commit. How would you do that? Just copy the hash code of the commit you want to check and, and type git check out the hash that you copied and you can see the code of your project for that particular commit. Check git log again and it will only show you commits till your checkout commit. But now let's say you want to check out to your latest commit. Type git check out your branch name which is master in this case. But where is this master branch came from? It's created by default for you when you initialize git in a project. Check git log and you will see all your commits and you are at your latest commit code in your master branch. If you want to check all the branches that you currently worked on, then type git branch and you can see we have only one branch which is created by default. Now let's say you want to work on a feature but don't want to disturb your current branch. You can create a new branch for that. Type git checkout dash b new branch name. Here we are switching to a new branch with all commits till currently checked out commit in current branch. And here dash b flag is used to create a new branch and git checkout command to switch to a new branch. And here we are in our new branch. You can check using command git branch that we are currently working on feature one branch. Let's make some changes again. Create a new commit and if we check our log then we can see that new commit has been done in our new branch. Now let's say you are done with your feature code and want to switch to master branch. Type git checkout master and we are back to our default branch that we were working on. Now you want to merge the changes you made in feature one branch with a master branch. Type git merge feature one. And this will merge all your changes from feature one branch to your current branch that is master branch. Check git log and we now have feature one changes in master branch. Okay, so you are done with all the changes and want to share your code with someone or maybe just want to keep your changes on a service like GitHub. For that, go to github.com and create a new account if you don't already have one. I'm already logged into my account. If you cloned a repository and want to push your code in branch, then all you need to do is type git push origin your branch name. Otherwise, Create a new select if you want to make your repository public or private. I'm gonna select private. Copy the command here to add remote origin in your local repository. To push your code to GitHub, type git push origin branch name, and this will push all your code in master branch to GitHub. Check your repository on GitHub and you can see all your comments. If you want to share this repository with a team member or a collaborator, go to settings, click on manage access, click on invite a collaborator, type in GitHub username or email ID and they will receive an invite from you. Once they accept your invite, you can see them in your collaborators list. Now let's say your team member accepts your invite and make a change into it. Most likely your team member will first clone the repository on his or her local machine 
and then push the code on GitHub after making that change. But to save time, I'm gonna make a change directly on GitHub. So how will you take the change from GitHub on your local? Just type git pull origin master and this will pull in the latest changes from GitHub in master branch to your local. Now I'm sure you'll be having a lot of questions in mind like what if your team member make changes in the same file on which you are working on local and already committed the code, whose code will be retained? Well, as long as you both are working on separate file or separate sections of code in the same file, it will try to merge your changes whenever you take the code. That's it for this video. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to the channel.